Hey guys, what's going on? Alf here with another video in this video. It's here playing some X-Plane 11. It's finally released. I just found out yesterday that this came out. I actually had no idea because I've been waiting so long for this to come out. I stopped checking. Like I just stopped, you know, checking to see. Because uh, it took them a while to come out with this X-Plane 11. But from what I see here, it looks like Laminar Research, who uh, makes X-Plane, did their best job that they could with this. It honestly... Uh, I, I haven't flown it yet, but it seems like a lot of improvements. Just from the website, like their website... You know, like, this, which is the first thing you look at. Uh, really nice, like, well-designed website. The the graphics uh, and, and just all the, the, the literature, if you will, for it were just kind of, like, really well presented. When I loaded up the game here, not the, the simulator, whatever you want to call it. Uh, before I started recording, they showed, like, this little intro clip of a plane flying in, uh, which is rendered in real time. And the graphics looked much improved from before. Um, the lighting, definitely, the, the textures on the aircraft, uh, reflections, just all that stuff. Uh, and, and it looks like they really did it. I mean, if, if it took them a while because they were really doing a good job on it, then I think that's good because uh, X-Plane could have used some work. I mean, honestly, X-Plane 10, um, 9, 8, 7, they, they were kind of all the same. Not exactly the same, but the GUI, the menus, the audio, the, the, the audio engine in X-Plane's all, and, and, you know, with the exception of X-Plane 11 because I haven't flown it yet, um, but it's always kind of sucked, honestly. Like, it's always been kind of flat. Uh, the graphics, the, just the optimization overall, it's it's really not well optimized. I think it, part of it has to do with it uses OpenGL, and it's just, it'll it's not designed to run well. It's just sort of designed to run realistically, if you will. So you kind of need a supercomputer uh, to run the thing, and it just looks like the graphics are better. Uh, it sounds better. Just everything kind of looks much improved. Uh, from before so I'm kind of excited to get started here this is the demo uh, I haven't bought it yet because I haven't flown it yet so we're gonna make it like a first flight video here get some some reactions I'll see if I like it and then you know I'll, I'll whip out the credit card and we'll go you know going for the x-plane 11 uh, uh, you know you know retail here first thing I want to do is I want to go to the settings and just kind of tweak the graphic settings here because I noticed with that first intro clip that they showed it was like a plane flying in uh, before I started recording, there were some frame sync issues there, which is, you know, you can fix that with V-Sync. Uh, but we got a GTX 1080 solid state drives. I mean, we've got it all, you know, locked and loaded here, so there's no reason why we can't turn this stuff up. I'll just stick with maximum, because, I mean, X-Plane, I just know from experience that the, the highest setting is always ridiculous, so we're not we're going to try to stay away from that. Uh, Anti-aliasing, yeah, why not? Full screen, default settings, uh, yeah, that should be good. So I have a 4K monitor and I can play in 4K. I'm not going to try X-Plane in 4K because it's just in 1080p. It's already not, you know, does it's not well optimized. So we're just going to, you know, I don't want the computer to blow up here. So we'll just kind of stick with the 1080p. Uh, default view forward, ah, uh, no, I like the, uh, the, like the third person view. Uh, forward with, yeah, whatever, leave that. We'll just tweak that later. Uh, I hope they didn't change the keys, because I know to go to third person, it's shift eight, so hopefully they didn't change that around on me. Uh, oh, by the way, I've got my yoke and my pedals, everything's plugged in here, so we're ready to go. Uh, field of view, I'll just leave that on default. Number of world objects, high. Reflection detail, let's turn that up. Draw parked aircraft, got to have that. Uh, parked aircraft, I'm interested to see it, because parked aircraft versions of X-Plane, it was, it was just an abomination. It was really bad, I mean... I think the way it worked is if you turn up the settings high enough, the, it would render, um, you know, parked aircraft uh, at the airport. But a lot of times it was kind of dependent on the scenery package you had. Like if you had a scenery package where the creator put parked planes, then it would just use those. And they were always kind of like low resolution, older, um, you know, like older design planes. Like it just it didn't, it, it was kind of ugly. Uh, so hopefully that's kind of a, it's, it's drawn, um, you know, like, you know, from an actual model. It's not like some sort of mock-up, uh, wrap around rotation, use rotation offsets. And no, we don't, we're not going off the handle here. We don't have that going, uh, lateral rotation. Now we're just gonna leave that alone and the rest of that's okay. What do we get down here? Track, use, there it is, V second. I knew it was missing. Uh, so there's that. I'll press done to save those. Just see if there's anything else going on here. Oh, sh oh, so we do have to do this here. So let me get my, uh, pedals ready to go here. Now, I don't know if it detects that automatically or not. Uh, go to joystick here. Okay, so there's the pedal. There's that. Right, so Okay, so that's already ready to go. Okay, so it just detected that. Let's get the yoke. There it is. We just have to go into this menu here. So there's the yoke. Uh, uncalibrate device. Let's see it. Okay, let's go ahead and calibrate the yoke. We'll go ahead and pull it back. Push it down. Left to right. That whole thing. And it's not... 
going all the way, but that's all right. Uh, throttle, there's the, no, that's, I want this one. Okay, we're going to change that. There, I see, see, I used the throttle one for the gear, and I use, uh, this, that's going to be changed. Okay, so next. Uh, let go of your controls, allowing them back to there. Okay, we did that. Uh, then hit the next button, leave your controls until the timer's up. All right, nice. Okay, so everything. Now, does this apply to the, to the, the gears too? Do we want to put those in the middle? I don't. I, uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll just, I think I'll just leave those in the down position here. And everything else is kind of centered. Let me ease off the pedals here in case it's checking that. And we'll hit next. And now it's going to figure out where centered is. Nice. See, this is a, so much improved from before. The GUI of this menu here is it's much better. I mean, it doesn't look like Windows 95 anymore. But also this, this centering you know exercise it just did here. It used to be that you had to like create a null zone manually to like tell X plane like where to ignore like to center the thing. Now it does it on its own. Like, I think that's much much needed there. So finish, that's good. Uh, this is yep, that's that's it there. Okay, so we want to change this one. I like having that be the speed brakes. So we'll put that on speed brakes. Uh, Throt why? Oh, I guess we're gonna have to save that for when we get in the plane there. I do want to just do uh, the buttons now. So let's see here where. Okay, so that's this one. I like having that be the brake. Let's go ahead and find that. We got a lot of... Oh, good. Look at this. We can search stuff now. It's This is so... Oh, man. This is so better than it used to be. Uh, toggle breaks max effort. That's what we want for that. And I do want to do the flaps. Okay. I like using that one for the flaps. I'm just sort of using the same settings as my X-Plane 10 settings. That was actually already configured. Nice. Okay. There's that. Um, and then contacting the tower. I like this one here. Actually, no. Yeah. Okay. Because that's below the hat. So this button here, which is number five, for those of you following along at home uh, on the little picture here, I used to, you know, use that to contact the tower, but it's actually kind of makes more sense the way that's set up right now. Uh, what does this do? Do nothing. All right, we can use this then. Uh, so ATC, contact ATC, apply that one, and I think that's good for now. I think that's a good setup. And other than that, the defaults on the keyboard are pretty good. So we'll go ahead and hit done and new flight. All right. Look at this. we got to pick our plane. A nice little menu here. A nice little fleet we got here. That's what they called it on X-Plane. They call it the fleet. I'm going to go ahead and use the 737. I don't really think we're ready for 747. Customize. Look at this. Check out customize here. Uh, what can we do with that weight balance? Okay, no. I don't want to customize that. Actually, I remember one time I did try to customize that. And the it was like the heaviest. Like the plane, I changed the weight. I guess I made the weight too much. And like the plane just kind of like just sunk through the tarmac. So we don't want to. Don't really want to mess around with that. Uh, go back to this. Uh, engine types will go down to... I'll uh, do JFK. We'll go to JFK Airport. Speaking of JFK, the movie Jackie came out. I've heard good things about that. I haven't seen it yet, but I when it comes out on Blu-ray, I'm going to see that. seems like a pretty cool movie. JFK International in New York at our 737. Uh, weather. Let's get some weather here. Not like rain, but just we'll get some clouds just to check out the graphics. Cirrus. We don't want anything where it's going to make the flight to... Bumpy here. Go, yeah, I'll go with the Cirrus high altitude clouds. Time of day, yeah, let's back that off. 9 a.m. That's good. Yeah, let's go ahead and start the flight. Now, this used to take forever to load up. I remember X Plane 10. It was just, it was unbelievable. So we'll see. We got, we got, I've got all solid state drives in this computer here, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you're leaving the demo area. Demo only include. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. Huh. Interesting. Could have told me that before. So like I said before, this is the demo. If it's good, then I'll buy it, of course. But I just want to you know, test it out first. So here we go, loading it up. Here, oh, here, oh, we're already loaded up. Look at this. All right. Well, there you have it. Uh, can we go to... Hope Shift 8 still... Yep, there we go. That works. Oh, no. All right, so we have no scenery for this airport. So the one airport that they give you has no scenery that's awesome the one airport they give you is just it's just this so that's not a whole lot to go on guess we'll go ahead and take off here uh, so let's go ahead go to the cockpit I, not, I think shift 9 is the 3d cockpit yeah I remember that one that's good that would have been embarrassing if I forgot so gorgeous cockpit first impression great cockpit unbelievable uh graphics here the resolution is great the problem with this is obviously going to be aftermarket aircraft and scenery that was really the pitfall of previous versions of x-plane in my opinion like the 
the content that Laminar Research made, you know, just the vanilla airports and, and you know, planes that kind of came with the game, always were great. Great quality, great, um, you know, great, you know, attributes. And when I say attributes, I mean, obviously, just, you know, real to life, you know, thrust and, and behavior and all that, but also just graphics, you know, great cockpits and everything like that. In terms of airport scenery, uh, the stock airport scenery was always the best, kind of typically with any game or any simulator. The stuff from the, the you know, the company that made the game is going to look the best. But the, the aftermarket stuff, and there was some some really good stuff, like, you know, which is why I like to go to JFK, because, you know, I'm kind of used to that in X-Plane 10, because that was a, it's a payware um, airport that I had. And it was, I think it's, in my opinion, was one of the best payware sceneries uh, out there. Uh, just in terms of airport scenery, which is why I kind of always like to go there, just because it, it looks nice. Um, but uh, other than that, like mo any free airport, you just kind of it kind of looked like some Google SketchUp building. You know, we're not really that good. Planes as well. The planes had kind of problems. So I'm curious to see if the aftermarket, you know, uh, aircraft and scenery, the payware stuff, freeware stuff, is going to be improved uh, from before. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and take off here and just kind of see how the flying goes. I mean, normally I'd contact the tower, but there just friggin' isn't one. We're just, like, out to sea here, so we're just gonna go ahead and have to do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, where is our brake light? Where? I'm just gonna keep pressing this here to get the light up. There it is. Uh, so zoom in. Parking brake full. Okay, so that's when it's on and retracted, so we're gonna have that off. Go ahead and put the flaps down a notch here. Hopefully it, it, it kinda took to that setting. There we go. I hear him going down. Seems like the audio is is moderately improved. Moderately improved. That's what I'd say. I mean, it's obviously it's not going to be like the soundtrack from Sully, but it's it's you know it seems like it's a little bit better. Uh, I got that going here. Normally, I like to you know if I'm taxiing from the airport, I just like to come out uh, on the taxiway here and just you know gun it, open up the throttle and take off. But we're kind of already lined up here and ready to go, so we're just going to go ahead and open up the throttle, pull back the flaps, you know, fasten the seatbelts, hand out the peanuts, all that stuff here. Uh, so this gear. Not working here, not working, and what is this, up, okay, arm, so I just want to see, okay, so up, that makes the speed brakes go up, so we're going to want to keep that down, just, just some minor calibration stuff we're doing, I am noticing right now, you might turn up the sound, I'll be quiet here once they quit yapping, you can actually hear the sound of another plane in the sky, which is a new uh, piece of audio. I tried to move it around there so you can hear. It's very slight, but I can hear that's a new detail. It's pretty cool. All right, so I do want to go to settings here and just figure out what the heck's going on with uh, with this throttle here. All right, so that's that. Pedals, now it's all set. All right, so the trick was, if you're having this problem too, uh, trying to get the prop set up here, is this, is you have to go to this here. So you go from front to back, and then it's going to show you uh, number two here, which is, of course, the one we're trying to get working. We're going to go ahead and change that to throttle. Just because I'm used to that uh, being on there. I've always kind of had it set up that way. Go to done. Go back to here. The other thing I did want to point out here is this uh, this configure video recording or toggle video recording. This is, you know, kind of the same way you have like the GTA 5, uh, the Rockstar uh, editor, like the video maker. This is kind of X-Plane's version of that. And this has not worked since like 2008. So if, you, if you're not familiar with this, um, in previous versions of X-Plane, how it used to work is it was kind of like like this i think it was like quick time it was it, it kind of ran off of that and then eventually like they updated windows um and whatever kind of plugin that it used to record video stopped working and they just kind of never updated it and you could never really record video so explain 11 brand new version i know for a fact one of the things they were going to fix uh was this so i do want to check this out here uh, videos recording this message will not be visi uh, uh, visible in the movie. Excuse me, you can see that text at the bottom here. So after we fly around here, I do want to check out uh, the, the video editor there to see if it's, uh, you know, you, you get the idea. The the video recording, to be, you know, precise, uh, to see how that looks because I've, I've kind of, you know, been waiting for that to, to be functional for a long time. So let's go ahead, take it off, pause, go back to the 3D uh, cabin here, look down here, make sure brakes are off, uh, flaps. Uh, let's go ahead and knock those down a notch there.